So Creality reached out to me and wanted me to test out their new favorite Pro 3D scanner. So of course I'm going to say yes. I'm not going to say no when they want to send me a new toy to play around with. Quick disclaimer, Creality did send this out to me for free, but I'm not paid to say anything I don't want to. This first impression video is coming from me who has no experience with 3D scanners, but I do want to see what we can do with it in this hobby. The first thing I noticed during the unboxing is the quality of the material. Everything is well protected in their carrying case. This is the rechargeable battery handle to power the unit when you're scanning wirelessly. It also comes with a quick release for the scanner and a small little tripod if you want to scan something on a turntable. I'm not an expert, but everything does feel very high quality to me. Next is the Wi-Fi bridge and this will allow you to scan things outdoors without being tethered to a computer. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to test out this feature because when I received this unit, it was actually having a snowstorm here in Canada. Last but not least, we got the scanner itself. It feels really solid in the hand without it being too heavy. This little bad boy also has some pretty awesome tech in it too, which I will go over in a bit. In the rest of the case, there are pretty much all the cables you need to get this thing started easily and some stickers to help improve the scan quality. You're supposed to stick them onto the subject so that the scanner can better track the movements, but I haven't used it as it seemed to be able to scan pretty well even without it. Maybe in situations where there is poor lighting it'll come in handy. Assembling it was pretty easy. They also show you how to do it in the user manual. This tripod however seems to be only able to hold at the lowest level. It would have been nice if it was strong enough to use it at the height you want. At the top, there's this little quick release system. You just snap on the scanner to secure it onto the handle. To remove it, you push the little button and you can slide it right off. I love it when there's a quick release in things. So much easier than screwing things in and out. Time for some specs. The Ferret Pro has a 0.1mm scan accuracy, wireless scanning with Wi-Fi 6, anti-shake imaging to improve scanning success, 24-bit full color scanning, a 5000 milliamp rechargeable battery that can run for two and a half hours. It also supports the majority of operating system like iOS, Mac, Windows, and Android. To begin scanning, you need to first install their scanning software that you can find on Creality's website. It was very intuitive to use. You just follow their steps, choose the settings for the type of scan you want to do, and just hit next. For me, I'm doing a medium-sized normal object with high quality and with colors. I chose this Pikachu plush that I got from Costco for my practice scanning test before I head out to do a real facial scan. I started with holding the scanner and just walking around the Pikachu while following the on-screen indications. The software tells you if you're too close or too far and try to guide you into holding the optimal distance for scanning. What we're trying to achieve for the scan is to have the majority of the subject in green. When it's red or yellow, it means it doesn't have enough data for it and wants you to scan those parts to give it additional information. I also found that turning the box where the Pikachu is sleeping on is much better than walking around it. You basically just hold the scanner in one position and turn the subject around. Once you're satisfied with the scan, you just hit complete and since I'm not familiar with 3D modeling, I just use their one-click process button to have the software do everything for me. A couple of minutes later, we have this colored 3D scan Pikachu. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with this. The Ferret Pro scanned it pretty accurately. It does have some rough edges at the bottom, but I think with more practice with the scanner, I can get much better results. Not only that, if you actually ask someone who knows how to sculpt, they should be able to clean up all the rough edges pretty easily and have a perfectly good 3D file to print. So now onto what I really want to do. Recently, one of my Patreon members, Shoe Chef, just finished painting his first model of a Chibi Luffy from One Piece. My plan was to scan my nephew's face and put it over this figure. Hi, Etienne. Hi. <laughs> Are you ready to be 3D scanned? Yes. Yeah, you're gonna be ready to be on um on a figurine. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's get this started. And now that I'm an expert at 3D scanning, I was able to capture his face pretty accurately. It took me about five minutes to scan his face, and after some processing from the software. I got this very cool colored scan of him. The only complaint I would have is that I had trouble scanning the eyes correctly. So now that I have the face, the next step is to have someone put it on the figure for me. And luckily a member on my discord called Basement Dweller Bean was kind enough to do this for me. He basically just slapped the face on the figure and made sure everything fit. It took him less than an hour. 
With that done, I put the model in a 3D printing software and this is what I got with it. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. Yes, it does look a bit goofy, but that was the whole point of it. If done from scratch, it would have probably taken a sculptor a good day or two to sculpt a face to this likeliness. And this only took me 5 minutes. Imagine the things we could do if I had actual sculpting skills. But this won't be a tiny little video if I just left it grey. So now, let's paint. For chibi models, I want to use a light colored primer and grey is the lightest I have. I do this because I really want my colors to be super vibrant. I'm doing a pretty simple skin tone since chibi models usually don't have much highlights and shading. The eyes were actually very difficult cause the scanner wasn't able to really capture his eyes so this printed out basically hollow. For the shirt, I'm using the new game color line from Vallejo and man, this bloody red is amazing. It's vibrant and it covers super well. Very impressed with their new formula. Before I show you the final results, a quick message from my nephew. If you like the video, please subscribe and like. And here we go. A chibi model with a 3D scanned realistic face of my nephew. This was a very fun project for me. With the small amount of time I got to use the 3D scanner, I'm pretty happy with how this whole project turned out. So what are my thoughts on the Ferret Pro 3D scanner from Creality? Well, the product is ad advertised. I had zero experience with a 3D scanner when I started with this project and even as a beginner, I was able to accomplish what I wanted to without running into any major problems. I think the scanner would be amazing in our hobby if it's matched with someone who has the sculpting skills to really push the 3D scan model into something really nice. Heck, I could even scan some random stuff in the house and print those out to use as a diorama in the future. I feel like there's so much potential with the things we can do with a 3D scanner and a 3D printer. And as the technology evolves, it will really bring 3D printing to a new level. I want to thank Creality for sending out the Ferret Pro 3D scanner for me to try out, and especially thank everyone who helped me accomplish this little project of mine. Special shout out to my nephew Etienne, he's always ready to be my guinea pig in whatever I have in mind. See you guys on the next one.